Yeah, so we're making a comic. So it's going to be a 40 page, um, smallish kind of newsprint comic. It's going to be filled um, with some recognisable details about the Metro, but the main purpose of it is to get the stories of the CSAs, so the uh, customer service advisors, and to get the sense of um, what the job is for them, what the experience of the Metro is for them, what the interactions are, what life is like on the Metro, and it's going to hopefully be told in different um, ways, uh, page to page, station to station, um, in full colour with a few puzzles for the kids at the back. And you've been out about meeting staff to draw them? Yeah, so it's been, a, it's been twofold, so there's been drawings to do, so I've been coming and getting lo location landmarks and um, drawing sort of like um, just from fantasy ideas from what I've been told, but the main thing I've been doing is like interviewing, so with a little dictaphone I've been coming to the gate line and asking folks where they come from, where they start the day, what's good about today, what's bad about today, what the favourite station is, what motivates them to do the job, what's tough, what people don't know about it and also to tell me the sort of um, the sights that they see and the sort of and the encounters that they have with people around China and Weir. Tell us about the medium of comic book art and what you're into here. Yeah, so we chose to do this as a comic. So basically like it's words and pictures. So it's both like words that can tell a story that can accurately recount what people have told me, but also you present it in a way that's not like a book, not a turgid newspaper. It's something that's immediately visual and you can read very quickly and you can also see the things that they're talking about. So I love comics. There's quite a big uh, community of local comic makers across Tyne and Weir. And I've got some of them board, on board as well. And we basically look at comics as rather than one single poster or something that kind of is a single standalone image, it's something that it's artwork and it's story, but it's like time goes through it. So you follow from one panel to the next panel, you follow from one page to the next page, and it makes like quite a nice cumulative effect. So even though any, one, any particular kind of panel won't be the same as a billboard artwork, the overall impact of reading the comic tells you more than having just seen something in a single static image. That's how I see it anyway.